And the Dallas Morning News reports on the autopsy of Sandra Bland. Prosecutors say her injuries are consistent with suicide. The report concludes the 28-year-old hanged herself in her jail cell this month after a traffic stop. Her family suspects foul play. Maria Villarreal shows us what else the autopsy reveals. Maria, good morning. Well, good morning. The actual autopsy report is expected to be released later today, but prosecutors went through the findings in great detail with reporters on Thursday. We want to warn you, some of the photos you are about to see may be disturbing. Prosecutors say there were no injuries to Sandra Bland's head, face, and neck that would indicate a violent struggle, nor damage to her internal organs. Waller County Assistant DA Warren DeProm. The only injury that was found close to the hands were some lacerations or abrasions on her wrists, which are consistent with being handcuffed and struggling during the handcuff process. As would be expected with a suicide, the mark on Bland's neck was uniform. There were also superficial scrapes on her back. In a hypothetical situation, this injury could be consistent with a knee in the back and a struggle. The autopsy revealed about 30 cut marks on Bland's left forearm, which appear to be two to four weeks old. In the multiple instances where I've seen those injuries, uh, they have been consistent with self-inflicted wounds. Preliminary tests also indicated high levels of marijuana in Bland's system. Get out of the car! And you I will light me? you up. Get out! Wow. It's unclear if she ingested the drug before or after she was violently arrested by a state trooper July 10th during a routine traffic stop. Even though the evidence so far points to suicide, officials say troubling questions remain about her arrest and death. If, after all the evidence is gathered, that a determination has been made that there are criminal violations, my office would have a part in that. Bland's family insists she was not suicidal and are seeking an independent autopsy. Officials also say the inconsistencies and conflicting information about Bland's suicide risk contained in her jail booking forms were due solely to Bland's own answers to the questions. Nora? All right, Maria, thank you.